Are you tired of having to make yet another sales call or do you have to write yet another proposal to a potential client only to have them disappear later? Or you have to chase these potential clients asking them if they've read your proposal or yet, or maybe they're just ghosting you and not being honest about are they in or are they out? Now, what if you could carefully choose the clients that you really vibed with? What if they were easy as, you know, your friends with money for you to talk to? And what if you only worked with clients just because you really believed in what they were selling? And what if together you and these clients were actually making the world a better place and having fun at the same time? Well, if you're ready to escape the trap of working for money and being your client's slave, I want you to strap in because in this video, you're going to find some massive wealth, time and leverage shortcuts that are used by some of the most successful coaches, consultants and small business owners on the planet. Some of them that we work with and you're going to discover a new model of running your business that is profitable and enjoyable. What's up, coaches, consultants, and business owners? It's Prosper here with Live Long Digital, the number one marketing agency for service-based business owners like yourself, where we help you build a business that's profitable and enjoyable. Now, today, I'm going to walk you through the forgotten process to explode your sales in the next 90 days. That will definitely make your business profitable and enjoyable. Now, I kid you not, this forgotten process is going to change how you create for and relate to your audience and want to do in order to have your clients staying no less than 12 months at a time. But before we check out how this works, be sure to subscribe to the Live Long YouTube channel so you don't get to miss out on any of our amazing videos that will teach you how to make more money with less struggle. Now, before we dive into today's video about the long lost uh, strategy, I just wanted to recap on um, you know, the other previous videos that um, we have sent out. Obviously, if you've got the right people um, that you're sending out your content to and you understand their actual pain and you've got a product to offer them when they show up at your doorstep with the right kind of payoff, I kid you not, you have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. And when these people show up to your doorstep, you engage them with the right kind of content and educate them on what it is that you do and inspire them to want more, be more and have more while in the process you are positioning yourself to be the go-to person within that audience. And then last but not least, you are definitely providing them with value because as you know, people get paid in direct proportion to the value value that they bring to the marketplace. While all this is happening, you're obviously farming these people so they can become your trustworthy clients that pay, stay, and refer, and you're learning more about them so you can solve their problems. And this is equally important because people like buying stuff, but they don't like to be sold to. And all this while you're reaching out to the right kind of people with the right kind of pain, just using um, you know, the available online marketing strategies out there. And obviously, if you're working with us, we definitely help you to measure everything so that you're not wasting your money on people that are not going to reciprocate you with sales, um, you know, and patronizing your work. And once you've got the right people, you're sending them the right uh, content and you're engaging them, all you got to do is put out the right calls to action in order for them to engage with you or to pay you money. Now, the last beat that a lot of people forget is this last section here, where basically we're helping you create ambassadors for your work and we're creating a community around you and also um, making you an authority. Why? Because you've already positioned yourself as the go-to person and then creating relationships. And these relationships can be partner relationships, can be JV relationships. And last but not least, 
we then go in and start branding you as the go-to expert within your industry. So after you've had a clear understanding of your ideal client, you've managed to attract them back to your website or to your business, and you now know how to convert them into a paying customer. Now what? Are you finished? If that's what you want, and if you're happy with a one-time sale, then, or if you're just a hunter and not a farmer, then you might as well stop watching this video if you want. You see, a lot of coaches, consultants, and small business owners only focus on closing that one deal and getting that one time sale. So they move on to, you know, that hard sales pitch that they've learned to the next, you know, unsuspecting prospect without providing any more value. And in essence, this is actually their business model. And you know what? There's nothing wrong with that. You know what I mean? It can actually get good results, but if you want great results that last, and if you want to get more from one customer and get more wallet share instead of just market share, and so you don't have to constantly go out looking for customers all the single time, then I want you to do this one thing instead. Build relationships. Now, building good customer relationships will actually help you um, convert more customers and the ones that you have become loyal customers. They no longer just become a one-stop customer or just that one-click wonder, okay? You now generally are a trusted provider and you're solving these new clients' problems. Now, while everybody else in the sort of online world is focusing on just closing that one deal or making that one time sale and they're not developing any long term relationships with their customers, you shouldn't be like that. And you know what happens when you focus on your customers retention and satisfaction and lifetime value something strange happens. You get to get more of these customers that are loyal, that are repeat, and they start trusting you and they actually start buying more from you, um, you know, without any questions. And this is not just a marketing phenomenon. This is actually based on science. There is a psychological um, you know, phenomenon where if people see you every day and you become a familiar uh, familiarity in the science community, they call this the mere exposure effect, where people prefer people that they see often and people that they know, like, and trust. Now, look at how babies, uh, when they're born, they learn facial recognition. They learn how their parents react and they learn, you know, how to get more from their parents just by looking at their face and just by recognizing the facial expressions and actually getting familiar with that person. They know where their food comes from. And we never lose that as adults, okay? So people start to consider you safe when they're seeing you daily and because you've never caused them harm and you're providing them with value so they get to trust you a lot more than what your competition is doing. But I think you're wondering, what does this have to do with marketing at all? I'm not a parent or I don't, I'm not here to learn about kids or I'm not here to learn about facial recognition. I leave that to the scientists. But you know what this psychological phenomenon has to do with marketing? I'll tell you, I'll tell you uh, why it is. I will put it in an example that you like the most, sex and dating. So psychologists say that um, we, as human beings, we like people that we see every day and we become more attracted to them just because of familiarity. Now, this is why a lot of people end up marrying a coworker or a classmate and depending on where you're from, <laughs> a family member, you know, and um, or it's usually somebody that they consistently see on a daily basis, you know, maybe like somebody they go to school with or something like that. And I kid you not, digital marketers and some advertisers have recognized this psychological phenomenon and they definitely take advantage of the tools that we now have. And that's the reason why they're posting daily on their social media accounts or emailing daily. And they're always making sure that you remember who they are 
and you also are familiar with them and whatever they're offering or what their brand stands for. And I advise that you should definitely be doing the same because you need to be building really good relationships with your clients and make sure that they remember what it is that you're offering so that they trust you and then they buy from you and they know that you're not just focusing on selling to them, but you actually want better for them because everybody else is looking for a happier existence. And if you're the person that's providing them with that, then they get to, um, you know, also help you build your brand. And I think it was Zig Ziglar that mentioned and said that help people get what they want. And then you too can get whatever it is that you want. You're building a community of satisfied uh, customers that pay, stay, and refer. So basically with the social media that you're putting out there and the blogs and the content that is also giving them value, you're literally strengthening the relationships and you're staying in touch with your paying customers. And there are different other marketing channels that you can um, you know, utilize. First of all, you can try something like email marketing just like you're watching this video because you received an email from me you can literally build a list of both your potential and paying customers and just keep mailing them daily and consistently but you do not want to end up as a spammer because you want to be giving them value so that they can make a sense of the world around them and you can also use social media to stay connected and you can share um you know, all the information that is vital to your clients so that they can actually solve the problems that they're facing on a daily basis. You know what I mean? And all these tools are absolutely free. I wonder why a lot of people want to spend so much money to reach to, um, you know, their audience when they can use free and useful tools that are actually much more, um, you know, converting than everything else that's out there. Okay. So if you're using social media and you're posting daily or you're blogging, um, if you can't write, do outsource this and be um, the person that's providing valuable and in-depth articles to help your customers solve problems. Now, in short, all these above marketing channels are there to help you build a community of satisfied customers and stay in touch with them so that they remember your brand and they work with you. And whether your brand or your company or yourself are trying to sell them something next time, guess what? Because you've already given them so much value, the only way they know how to reciprocate is with their credit card. They already have convinced themselves that you're a trustworthy person and the, you know, you're because you're providing them with valuable uh, input and value that they're using to solve their problems. And you're working on building and growing one thing, your authority. Now, contrary to popular belief, you don't have to know everything about your field to be considered an expert or an authority in it. All you have to do is just no more than the average person. And you'll also be exploiting another form of marketing, which is what a lot of people gravitate towards, which is word of mouth marketing. Are you giving your audience enough ammunition to talk about you at a barbecue? Right now, with this word of mouth marketing, you know that happy and satisfied customers will tell their friends how great you are and they can bring you more potential customers. And these people are easier to convert. You know why? Because they already have that trusted authority from whoever they trust and they're transferring that to you. So you don't need to sell them that much. Okay. So, and last but not least, you have to realize that paying customers are the second best thing. The best thing are loyal repeat customers. All right. So make sure you're following up, um, you know, with your uh, marketing each and every day and it's working for you and not against you. Now, I kid you not. This is a phenomenon that a lot of people do not use. They just get that one client, that one single sale, 
And then that was it. Grand opening, grand closing. Instead of going in and nurturing those clients and making them into your uh, true fans that pay, stay, and refer. And guess what? When you do this, your business is going to be profitable and enjoyable. And you won't have to chase more customers each and every time that you've got something new to sell. All right, let me level up with you. If you've watched this video up until now, that means you've watched maybe all of the four videos that uh, I've made prior. This also means you're somebody who's serious about having a business that's profitable and enjoyable. Why don't you book a call with me? Like seriously, go back to that email, click on the link and just read the um, you know page that follows through where I explain to you all of this in detail and how you can actually implement this within your business um you know within the next 90 days so if you're ready to create a predictable scalable marketing system that generates an abundance of new leads and you can nurture them effectively in an automated manner please book a call come over and just have a chat with me all right you You've loved these videos. You know this is going to help you. All right. Okay. In the next couple of weeks, I might have two or three sessions left. If you don't pick them and you miss out, then you would have wasted your time learning all these things without implementing. Book a call. Leave this video right now. I implore you, leave this video. Shut it down. Go and schedule a call with me right now. You. Not anyone, not Sally, not James, no Bruce or whoever. You, you who's watching me right now, and you know you need to watch more content so that you can make a decision, but you have. You've watched four videos. What you really need right now, book a call with me. I'll be waiting on you on, you on the other side.